Hello everybody, this is Heidi and you are watching Heidi Creates. The image that you see right now on your screen is the painting that we're going to be doing for the demonstration. The inspiration behind this painting actually comes from my daughter. She is opening a brand new salon studio and her colors, actually I will just go ahead and insert the palette right now so that you can see those colors. They actually include um, the colors green, more of an emerald green and kind of a blush color. And one of the things that she's doing as far as the <clears throat> metal accents is a rose gold. So I decided I'm going to do this painting for her um, with the tiles and inside each tile will have a different um, detail going on, whether they're flowers, leaves, or whatever. At any time while you're watching this video, if you're enjoying what you're watching, click on the thumbs up button. Also make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell right next to the subscribe button. That way you can get notifications every time I have a new video that comes out. Hey, hope you enjoy and stay tuned for the rest of the video. Here we go. So what I'm showing you here is the quarter inch wide tape that I'm using to create the lines between each tile. And I used my ruler just to make sure that I was getting a straight line across my canvas. I didn't want this one in particular to be crooked looking. So I kind of had a lot of fun with this tape as it's sticking to my fingers. I had a little bit of a challenge. So at first I was tearing it with my fingers and eventually I get smart and break out some small scissors and cut that as I'm laying the tape down. I really don't have any rhyme or reason uh, to the design of the tiles. I'm just kind of trying it out as I go. I might lay something down and then decide I'm not liking it and so I'll change it. And I do bring out the ruler every now and then just to make sure the distance between the lines is equally parallel. And I think right here I'll end up measuring this one again too. Yeah, with the fingers it's it's a little bit of a challenge. It sticks. And I'm always having to peel it off my fingers. And here we go. I'm measuring it here. Just to be sure that the lines are as parallel as I can get them. And I do press down quite often on the tape just to make sure it's secure to the canvas. And please excuse my head of hair. I tend to get that right in the frame of my recording. But I try to get it so I can show you what I'm doing as best as I can here. And there's that head of hair again. And there's the small scissors I'm using. Finally got the scissors out. Every once in a while, my piece of tape is a little bit too long, so I have to trim it down. One of the things that I'm trying to make sure is that the ends where I cut the tape is ending right in the middle of the previous, or the piece of tape that it's overlapping. And some of my triangles here, I'm I'm wanting them to be at a right angle from the line that they're coming off of. Trim that one. And 
So obviously there's a lot of space to fill here. But I'm trying to make sure that I have some, you know, equal, <clears throat> or excuse me, um, trying to make sure that I have some larger negative space as well as some smaller sizes. That tape just keeps getting away from me. I was actually looking for a masking tape that was the quarter inch wide. Couldn't find it anywhere. I live in a small town and my resources are very slim to none. And uh, I ended up going to an automotive store, <clears throat> excuse me, and finding this tape. And this is more of a vinyl tape than masking, but it still worked really well. One of the challenges I have when I'm laying the tape down is I'm overlapping a little bit with the previous one and I have to pull it up to trim it and it ends up pulling the previous tape that I laid down up. So I'm having to press it down again. Okay, here we go with the base color. I am using an emerald green and pretty much it's the only color I'm using right now as the base color. And I'm just using a larger round brush just to lay it all down. And getting it as even as I can. I'm also going over the edges around the sides of the canvas. And now begins the texturing part. Each tile I want to have a different shade of the emerald green and a different texture. And I might be doing several different things on the same tile to get the achieved look that I want. This right here with the dots, I actually used as a leftover piece from some dots that you removed to put on the back of um, framed pictures. And I'm also using a room key card right here just to get that streak look. So basically I'm using sponges, brushes, key cards, whatever I can just to get different textures. I'm also using a rag to wipe away color just to get more of a, a more of a subtle marbly look. And you'll see where I bring the rag in just a minute here. Right, right here is where I'm kind of wiping away the color, revealing some of the hidden shades underneath. And now I'm starting with the drying. And I used a paintbrush to begin with. And then after I get done painting these leaves right here, this is where I started using the paint pen. The only thing you have to be really careful of as you're doing this is not putting your hand in the paint where you just painted. So I try to move around so I'm not uh, running into that problem. And basically I'm trying to do every kind of leaf design that I can think of. And then I threw in a couple of flower designs as well. Right here, I'm just going over my paint lines that I did with the paintbrush with the pen now, just to make it come across a little bit darker. And here's where I'm doing the first flower. Some more leaves. And these are just some little flowers right here too. So basically just filling up each tile, um, got some geometric shapes going on right there, some more little flowers, and just for good luck, some shamrocks. And this is the fun part, peeling off the tape to reveal all your tile grout lines. This is the paint that I used for the rose gold grout lines. 
it's really an inexpensive craft paint, but it was what I could find at the moment. I didn't have time to do any shopping online. I needed to find what I could in town. And I ended up doing a couple coats of this just because it is a pretty watery paint and um, the, the color just wasn't dark enough in one coat. So I'm just doing little touch-ups here. And actually the painting at this point is done, but I lost some of the footage, so I'm showing you what I did to achieve this look. I used the painter pen to then outline all the grout rose gold lines. And I used my quilter's ruler just because it was the perfect size and I actually laid it down on the table. But one of the things you have to remember when you're doing these lines is making sure you stop at each intersection. And I also had put some tape on my ruler, some masking tape, and I didn't want the paint to get on my ruler. This is what I use for my quilting. But anyway, this is the process. I did it pretty quickly for you, so it was boring. <laughs> but um, I like the way it came out. The final step was to actually give it a spray finish. I like the matte finish. And I did probably about two to three coats, doing all the sides and edges. And that's the completed painting. I hope you enjoyed and have a happy and safe week. Stay healthy and we'll see you next time.